Welcome to the Mathematical Method Simulation. In this module, you'll play three games to help you investigate the laws of probability and determine the right combination of people and decisions to increase your probability of winning a prize or achieving a result. To play the Make a Deal game, click on the Sim tab and then click on the Make a Deal button. You will see a stage with three numbered curtains. In this game, you will determine the best strategy to use in order to win a prize. One curtain has a prize behind it. The other two curtains have another item behind it. Begin by reading the on-screen instructions. Then choose one of the curtains by clicking on the large curtain under the number. After you've made your choice, the item behind one of the curtains is revealed. You can stay with the curtain you initially chose by clicking on the Keep button, or you can switch curtains by clicking on the Switch button. After making your choice by clicking on the Keep or Switch button, the curtains are raised and the items behind the curtains are revealed. Click on the Try Again button to play the game again. After you have played again, look at the status bar at the bottom of the screen. There is the Reset Counters button, the Try Again button, and the status boxes that show how many correct decisions you made, how many wins by switching you would have had if you had made the correct decision, and how many wins by keeping you would have had if you had made the correct decision. Notice that the wins by switching and keeping do not correspond to the choices you made, but to what would have happened if you had made the correct choice. If you add the numbers in the wins by switching box and the wins by keeping box, this will equal the number of games played. Continue the game by clicking the Try Again button. After you've played 10 games, a new box comes up above the Reset Counters box. This box next to Play Mode now says Manual. Click on the Manual button to toggle between Manual and Auto Mode. On Manual Mode, you make your choice each time, and on Auto Mode, the sim will run the game automatically. If you choose Auto, you can change how many times the trial runs. Note that the default setting is 20 times, but you can change this by clicking on the text field and entering the number of times you would like the trial to run. The number of trials you run must be a one or two digit number. You can also choose if the trials should use the keep choice, the switch choice, or use a random choice. You can change this by clicking on the switch button. It will toggle through switch, keep, or random. After you have made your choices on how to run the trial, click the start button. Once the trial is finished, note how many correct decisions were made, how many games would have been won by switching, and how many games would have been won by keeping.